Welcome into the kitchen, everybody. My friend Rory Shapizi joining us this afternoon. Now, you have got something very special today. You are making a steak, and not just any steak. Well, we are doing filet mignon because mm. I know how much Megan likes to eat. I do love a good filet. Filet mignon. It's our favorite. Anyways, mm -hmm. so we decided, by the way, everyone, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing is we are going to do a really cool, like, dry rub on it. By the way, that looks lovely. Doesn't that look lovely? Yes. Okay, yes, so yes, we yes. have brown sugar. We have some smoked paprika. We have a little uh, black pepper, garlic, cumin, uh -huh. sea salt. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all together in a bowl. Okay. Just like that. Now, Megan, will you... Uh, are Can you we get a spoon? Sure. Okay. Or you could just dive in. Would you like me to dive in? So what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to... Tell me what I'm going to do before I do it. That's what I want to know. We're going to take our filet mignon, and right uh -huh. now we're using about six ounce portions. And these are things that we do for specials at the Drunken Oyster, uh, especially for Valentine's. My friend Kelly loves this one. Yes. 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 Your friend Kelly is an amazing person. She comes <laughs> she in is. quite a bit. She does. She does. I love uh -huh. Kelly. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your filet, uh -huh. and you're just going to rub it in there. You could have your kids do this. And guys, you could do this the night before, uh -huh. which is fine. And then you're just going to let it sit in the fridge for 15 minutes minimum. Um, and then just to make sure those spices stay So on even there. a dry rub like this will do better if you let yeah, it sit? Yeah, let it sit. The flavors soak into the meat, uh -huh. okay? And then we're just going to do that with both of them and get them on our, our grill. Now you could cook these on your grill outside, mm -hmm. which is totally fine. You could cook them on a, a, a skillet. Or we, what we're going to do today is we're just going to sear them here and finish them in the oven. Okay. All right. So while that's going on, I'm going to ask you to take some of this cauliflower. Okay, I can do that. I can do the cauliflower. And you're just going to put the cauliflower in some water. And we're going to boil this cauliflower. We're making a cauliflower puree. Right here? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever made cauliflower puree? You know puree? what? I have had like mashed cauliflower. What's It's is similar. similar. It's just going to be much smoother. We're uh -huh. going to actually... Um, Put it in the blender. Oh my gosh, I cauliflower is so good. Also, new year, new you. A, new a little cauliflower, there right? There you go. Making things a little healthier. Oh, Listen. Megan, Megan, Megan. Do we have it with this butter <laughs> and this cream? Oh, you know, we make everything's better with butter. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this boil. So we're gonna we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then once it comes to a boil, you guys want it to be fork tender. Uh huh. So as soon as it's fork tender, you're gonna pull it out, and we are going to put it in a pan. Huh? like this and put it in the oven at 350 degrees about and let all that moisture come out because we don't want our puree to be starchy. Got it. Okay. Right. Well, we've done that. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to make this puree. Don't yes. go anywhere. Wishing I was all right, welcome back, everybody. The control room just got so mad at me because I, I picked up the. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Um, she's okay. getting yelled at, guys. Know, she's getting yelled at. I know. So, what Megan's doing right now is she's putting her cauliflower in a blender. Now, if you have an emulsion blender or a stick blender, they mm -hmm. work great for this. Um, or a food processor will work also. And what I have going on is we have some butter here and we are letting it get a little bit brown. And now browning butter, all it does is just intensifies the flavor a little bit. It's almost like burning it, but we're not really burning it. I want to talk, see, so brown butter can be both savory and it like, can use, be used in savory and sweet things. Yes, like absolutely. you see like a brown butter icing or something yes, like that too, right? Butter, uh, it's butter. Yeah. Butter's just good any way you have it as long as it's not burnt. You Got know? it. So how um, do you keep from burning brown butter then? Watch it and make sure that you have somebody who's next to you to make sure you don't burn the butter. <laughs> no, right. You, you, know, need, you need a, a it's like somebody Andy to Justice keep you being accountable. next to you making sure that something yeah. goes right or you doing the same for him. Uh -huh. you know? But anyways, guys, these are some of the dishes that we will do. Uh, we have a really special Valentine's planned at the Drunken oh. Oyster. Um, so you'll want to make reservations. We are having seatings just because so many people... Yeah, yeah. There's only very few restaurants. Valentine's is on a Friday this year, too. It's going to be crazy. So make your reservations as soon as possible. Gentlemen, do it now. Don't wait until the last minute. Uh, the whole restaurant, Drunken Oyster, will be candle lit. We will supply the roses Romance. for your ladies. Oh, it good. will also include champagne. We'll have specialty drinks like a, let's say, chocolate-covered strawberry martini. Yum. Yum. And then you'll have options, seafood options, as well as meat and probably poultry options. Our menu will be out this week for Valentine's. So it's kind of stay close to y'all's Facebook page Exactly. For that. And you can go on Open Table and make the reservations awesome. there. Well, that sounds okay. fun. Do so, I need to go ahead and start this? No, no, no. We need liquid Wait. in there first. Although I should have let her start it. They would be more fun. So we're adding heavy cream to this. So this is going to the, be the base, the liquid, to make your puree. Uh -huh. 
See how it's turning a little brown? It does. Brown? It kind of just gets a little bit that? brown. It's Isn't kind of pretty? a tan color. I'm going to add a little Cajun seasoning just because I'm a little spicy. Well, sure. We know that. Right. We know that to be true. And now we're just going to put a little bit in here. I don't want to burn you. Okay. I'll stand and back. we can add a little at a time so you know the consistency you want. And Megan, you're going to close that up and let's see what happens. See, normally if Andy and I are in here, <laughs> stuff is stuff fine. Okay, she's a little, so we're going to add a little bit more. more. And then we're going to smush it down just a little bit. Give me one second just to make sure. That's why an emulsion, uh, like an emulsion, emulsion blender works great because it's a stick. Do you use those emulsion blenders? Yes. I thought about getting one, right? They're amazing. I love them. I suggest everybody has them. You could do it. Come there on. We go, there, there we go. go. You can shake it around a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. So the consistency on this, we're going to add a little bit more should be pretty smooth but yet you should be able to sit something on top of it so, so not like a mashed potato a little smoother than that. we want it to be smoother than a mashed potato there you go i think it so you don't want to have the lumps in it like you would in a mashed potato unless you like lumpy things okay well you know right. to each his own that's what i say <laughs> we're gonna blend this up so you don't have to listen to it how about that we'll right. come back and we'll show you the finished product when we come back Okay, welcome back, everybody. Hi. Okay, we're ready to plate, right, Ro? We are. So what you're going to do, Megan, is you're going to do a couple mm -hmm. scoops here and make it look fancy. Scoops? Well, I grab the filet. And Just in the middle? Just in the middle, like as if you were at a restaurant plating it for somebody. Do I need to Do I need to make a, like a swoosh? You need to make a swoosh. Is it like that? There, look at you. Yes, that's uh -huh, what I'm talking uh -huh. about. Does everybody see? Shall I move this cauliflower so you can see it better? That's perfect. And then Ooh. we're just going to take our filet mignon, our and let's do this. Look at how nice that looks. It looks beautiful. Y'all, this cauliflower puree is divine. It's very rich and creamy, but it is really nice. And then we finish it with a tiny bit just to give the cauliflower puree a little bit of cayenne just to give it a little. Oh, that looks nice, Rory. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. And maybe some green over the top, but of course, you know me, I didn't bring everything <laughs> with me. <laughs> Sometimes we're just grateful that it's, you, you know, know, I we, made it here, we woke guys. up, you know? <laughs> And Life it, is just sometimes a challenge. Yes, it's right after the holiday. I so. know. It was a busy holiday for you guys. It was a great holiday. My my staff at the Drunken Oyster guys, these people are amazing. So when you go in there, you know, just give them props because they worked all their butts they off. They do. They worked for so a hard. very long holiday, and I'm just super proud of them. And we have a lot of big things happening in 2020, so we're super excited. But in the meantime, you can find us at the Drunken Oyster. And we are open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. You guys can order us through like Grubhub or through cool. uh, a couple of the other places that yeah, I can't sure. remember right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to put this segment over on myhighplace.com so you can check it out. But go see my friends at the DO. Thanks, Ro. Thank you.